Welcome to the channel, New York GA True Crime Files. Of course, I am your host, Monique, and I'll be going over some stories um, that have intrigued me over the years. So let me tell you a little bit about this channel. I am rebranding, and I wanted to give a more, a broader uh, perspective, um, not too broad, but broad enough where I'll be covering stories that intrigued me uh, when I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. So these are stories that uh, hit the headlines of the New York Daily News, New York Post, or even the New York Times. Uh, growing up in Brooklyn, there were many stories that I can still remember and I can still see the headlines of the uh, and the pictures of the um, headlines from local newspapers and I also recall um, watching the news because back in the day the news was a real thing it was taken um, very seriously uh, people trusted the news and I remember when we would watch the news it would start at about four o'clock we would watch the channel seven eyewitness news with Roger Grimsby Bill Butel Kati Tong and John Johnson if you know you know and we would be quiet, we wouldn't talk, we wouldn't laugh, or, you know, we would be watching the news. And every now and again, because my grandfather, he was blind, he couldn't see, he would always ask us, is this person black or white? Not for anything else, but just because he couldn't see. So, or we would have to, you know, turn the channel for him. We didn't have remote controls back at that particular time. And we would have to change the channel, but news typically came on at 4 p.m. I think there was a four o'clock news, five o'clock news, and there was 11 o'clock news at night. We didn't have the news 24 hours a day. So you either caught it at about four or five o'clock, you know, when most people were getting home from work. And then if you didn't catch the five o'clock news, you could catch it at 10 or 11, depending on what channel you were watching. But the news was a real thing. And crime is a real thing. Um, and so being that I'm living here in Georgia, there's some stories that intrigue me here in Georgia. Um, I've been here for about 20 years. So half of my life, uh, almost half of my life has been spent here in Georgia, but the primary part of my life was spent in New York. So that's why I decided to focus on those stories that I'm telling you when I go over these stories, you're going to be like, I remember those stories. And these stories intrigue me because, you know, not only were they something that stuck in my head, but these are real stories about real people, real families. And I wanted to give um, some homage to the families because crime, if it happens to anyone, you know, a lot of times we think that it will never happen to us. And I'm sure those families thought that these things would never happen to them. And so just to give um, not only my condolences, but my respect to the families when I cover these stories, but to help us to understand that this happens all over the world, everywhere. And hopefully, We'll learn something from it, but also to remember those victims and the families because these are real people that these are happening to. You know, a lot of times, like I said, we listen to the news and we really don't think that these things impact us. It's always them. But some of those people were, you know, thinking just the way we do like, oh my gosh, I feel bad for them. Like I said, these are real people, right? Real lives that have been changed forever. And a lot of times for the worst, most of the time for the worst, right? There's somebody's mom, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, daughter, son that these crimes happen to. So we want to, you know, I want to make sure that I respect not only the family, but the victim of these crimes. But these are crimes that stood in my head. And when I see the pictures and the covers of the newspapers, um, it's almost like a flood of memories that come back. So I just want you guys, if you are into like true crime, um, please like, uh, you know, the channel and I will upload weekly um, stories. And I'm sure you will remember these stories. I hope that um, this channel will serve you well. Um, and if you have, and then once a month on Fridays, I'll be doing a free for all Friday, meaning um, those of you who are in other states, 
uh, and maybe in other countries. You can email me um, some stories uh, that you might want me to cover, and I will cover those uh, once a month on a Friday. So it'll be a free for all. I'll just pick through some emails. If I get some, if not, I'll pick some uh, stories from other <clears throat> excuse me, from other states. But for the most part, I'll be focusing on true crime files in the New York area and in the Georgia area. So if you have an opportunity, subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe to the channel, I also want you to hit that bell. But when you hit that bell, I want you to click upwards to all. And that way you'll be notified of any uploads that I uh, do weekly. Also, stay posted to my community tab. And this is where I'll be communicating with you about uh, stories. Um, you can communicate with me. I'll maybe do some polls. Um, and if you, you know, I've always watched y'all. You know, I love mysteries. Um, I used to love watching Law and Order or the first 48. And sometimes I would watch these stories, you know, to a detriment because I'll be, you know, especially if you watch it late at night and you're at home by yourself or, you know, the kids asleep, you be looking around, checking the doors and stuff like that. I've always loved the true crime. I love Law and Order. I love first 48. I used to watch stories like cops and things of that nature. So if you like those type of stories, you know, and you know I'll cover these stories from just my perspective but from the hopefully trying to uh, give the facts of what we know happened um, a brief highlight of it and you know of course we can give our commentary uh, down below always uh, to remember that you know to be respectful so uh, with that being said I've rebranded the channel to New York NGA true crime files so i'll be covering those interesting topics uh headlines um and those crime files from back in the day and some even more current from new york area and the georgia area so i'll see you guys on the next upload and again don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel i know i've covered some um uh, topics such as the Ernest Williams case and I'll continue to follow that but I just didn't want to focus specifically on that because that case is going to be over and I have been before that case covering stories um, as it relates to true crime some DV issues but I wanted to kind of uh, focus on a, a specific uh, a genre of true crime in this way it helps me to stay focused and I can um relay back to you my thoughts on these particular cases that were intriguing still are intriguing to me that I uh, grew up and I heard about when I lived in New York City in Brooklyn and also cases since I've been here in the state of Georgia so I thank you guys so much for bearing with me you can see I've changed my banner I've changed I've rebranded and some videos I may put on uh, private but again I'll still be covering some of the cases um, and giving my commentary but I'll be giving a more um, you know in-depth look at specific cases in the New York Georgia area so I will see you guys on the next upload and thank you guys so much all of you guys for your support all right now peace and I'm out